at our Mexican restaurant, El Nopal. This is how I sit right now, okay? I'm just chilling. I told my dad it was National Dwarfism Day. So, to be aware of dwarfism, <laughs> he's gonna take me to lunch. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how you doing? Hey, pretty good, you? Good, you? Good, thank you. What do you need like to drink? Can I have sweet tea, please? Sweet tea, sir. With no have, lemon. Y'all oh, carry cola? Oh, yes. Diet. Okay, I'm here for a quick update on my dwarfism and blindness. Um, today is actually National Dwarfism Awareness Day, and I have what is called proportionate dwarfism. So in my case, they call it that, and also um, the doctors, we have learned to call it little person syndrome because no one else in my family has this, um, but like, um, you know, it's, it's not extremely genetic. Um, although there are some other little people in my family, but they're not as little as I am. Um, so, um, it's just been such a journey. So yes, you saw, well, if you can't see, some can, and I'm sorry, I try to explain the photos the best I can, but, um, my dad and I went out to lunch today at this Mexican restaurant, so he took a couple photos of me with my chips and queso, just, you know, enjoying today. Cause that's what it's about it's it's about awareness and while we talk about how we're short and you know it's hard to do things we always just also want to talk about like milestones and just like how we can enjoy going out to lunch like an average height person um you know the food still tastes the same you know people are nice but of course there are challenges and so for me i wear afo um leg braces I do also wear Smos, which are basically braces, but they're for your ankles, and I have those on right now. Um, I also um, <laughs> sleep on a crib mattress. I do have a full-size bed, so don't come at me. Like, I don't care what you think. Um, it's really for my back, um, and, um, you know, so I won't have to do that forever, but it's there if we need it. Um, you know, just stuff like that. I do um, wear really small shoes, um, but my body is proportionate to everything. So my bones are definitely on track, but I do have orthopedic challenges, um, but it's okay. Like I'm good. Um, the main thing about my little person syndrome is it, it I never outgrew my heart surgery. And um, that's, that's important to me. Um, because I have a heart condition called Tetralogy of Fallot, which is basically four different heart defects. And um, people with dwarfism also can have heart conditions too and other things. Uh, so I never outgrew that heart surgery and I am like in my thirties and I haven't needed it. And so we hope and pray I never will. Also moving on to my blindness aspect, if you cannot tell, I'm wearing my red um, shield glasses over my prescription glasses and this has been amazing I am doing better at locating things it's still a challenge I'm not saying it's perfect I'm not saying it's ever going to be perfect what I am saying is I definitely noticed a difference I was kind of like am I gonna have to get another pair of glasses again with amber lenses and this and that so they can be a little darker and don't get me wrong I would have done what I needed to do but at this point, I don't think I need to, um, because just having the red on there helps. Um, you know, I'm always gonna have a hard time seeing in the sun, um, but it does help with that too. So that's been so amazing. Um, today, I was at Academy Sports with my dad, and you know, I don't really know details of what people look like, but I was sitting there waiting on him to get his shoes, and I looked around and I saw a guy and I was like, uh, excuse me, do you work here? And he came right over to me and I was like, do you mind help me find um, some white toddler socks? I'm colorblind and it'd be helpful if they were all white right now. And he was very nice and he helped me find them. So that's a picture you see also of me sitting there with my socks. I took the picture and myself because I just, you know what guys, little things are big things. They are. 
Um, you don't always have to explain to someone, hey, I am blind and I'm little and I they can see. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm sure he saw me with the red glasses. But I don't mind saying, hey, I'm legally blind. I don't see colors, just so you know. Can you help me find this? And it was just amazing. So, um, I just want to share that. And things are going good. And I'll be back with another video later. I hope you guys are doing great. And whatever you struggle with, just know that it is okay to struggle. But it's also okay to overcome the struggle. Like, you know, it, it, it doesn't define you. Um, you are amazing and God loves you. Okay, and I'm gonna go finish some sweet tea now. All right, peace out.